Hello everyone, welcome back to CoinUs. So today I grabbed a total of $45 of worth US and Commonwealth countries coins from local coin shop in Baku. You'll most probably watch the video tomorrow, therefore purchased yesterday technically. Several of them are uncirculated coins at various mint states. As old eastern saying says, better to see something once than to hear about it thousand times. So hit subscribe and bell buttons under this video and let's get started. Here is 1997 Red Lincoln Cent, uncirculated coin but with carbon splashes here and there, which badly impacts the eye appeal. Next 1981 Lincoln Penny at fine condition. Coin displays medium softness on high points of device elements. Most vividly seen on reverse side, on surfaces of memorial and e pluribus unum. Moving on to the 1981 D brown penny, D means it was struck by Denver Mint. Circulated penny containing 95% copper, 5% zinc. Another brown variety, 1988 Lincoln Cent. I'm not 100% positive, but this one looks like a clean coin to me. Reverse side displays large pile of unpleasant verdigris below C of face value. Next, 2012 uncirculated red Lincoln Cent at mid state 62 or 63. Surfaces are void of distracting contact marks. Only distractions are these carbon flecks scattered around the fields. Forgot to mention that this is a shield reverse penny. Here we see round shade patinations as well. Yet another uncirculated penny. 2006 D Red Lincoln Cent. D standing for Denver Mint. Strike is sharp. No, not worse the abrasions or bag marks seen here as well. Just few wispy ticks here and there. Next 1971 D Washington Quarter with this perfectly circular gouging around the bust. These are post mint damage caused by coin roll crimping machine most likely. Moving on to this 2005 Red Lincoln Cent, uncirculated penny displaying very vibrant mirror-like peach orange fields. Strike is razor sharp. Main distractions are these side-by-side -side curvy abrasions above the date. Another uncirculated penny with potent coppery orange luster, 2007 penny, most likely at mid state 65, displaying very sharp device motifs. As compared to others, this one exhibits no major spotting. It has one slanting abrasion on face value. Next, 1981 Denver struck brown penny, copper completely turned dark. Same features are seen on these 1963 Lincoln Cent as well. It shows some even darker patinas on reverse side. Here is 2006 Lincoln Cent, uncirculated at mint state. An error coin with small die chips on reverse, over face value. Next, 1969 D. Jefferson Nickel, over-circulated 5 cent. On the reverse we see strong dye deterioration. Nineteen seventy three Jefferson Nickel, at very fine condition. Monticello steps completely flat on reverse. Nineteen eighty seven Lincoln Cent, red brown. I appeal is not that fine. And this is the most beautiful coin among these. Nineteen eighty four S proof Washington Quarter, a superb gem with deep cameo feature displaying deeply frosted devices and lettering that contrast with the mirror fields. Coin has excellent eye appeal as you see. Good acquisition.
Now let me show you Commonwealth coins without holders. All of them feature Elizabeth II on the front side. Let's see what we have here. 1991, 5 pence, UK. Attractively toned 1994 bronze one penny. Nineteen ninety five pence. About uncirculated two thousand six one penny. Nineteen seventy four one new penny. Second portrait. Nineteen eighty five two pence. This one is relatively old coin. Nineteen sixty four three pence. It was demonetized in nineteen seventy one with introduction of new decimal system in Britain. 1992 pence, bronze. 1999, 2 pence. 1979, 10 cent, from New Zealand. Copper nickel. Nineteen ninety two Australian ten cent, also copper nickel. Nineteen ninety three two pence, bronze. Nineteen eighty six uncirculated two pence. Oversight displays potent red orange luster. 2001 penny UK two thousand four Australian ten cent horse portrait nineteen eighty five one penny UK third portrait 1966 Australian 5 cents. These are all the coins that are bought for nearly $45, including one deep cameo proof quarter. Let me know your opinion in comment section. How do you think? Is it a bad deal or good deal? Thumbs up below will be much appreciated. See you in the next episode.